Hi guys, welcome to my Dream Belt Vertical Bike Rock. So today, I am going to share you how I build my very own vertical bike rock. So after some planning and design, I finally end up with my own measurements. Then I head out to my local metal supplier and get everything that I need. And then I start with my hook, which is the half inch round bar. I cut it to 46 inches long, but if I have to build it again, I will cut it at 48, like a 2 inch longer. So the gap will be a lot uh, shorter. And then yeah, it's very easy to bend. I bend it manually without hitting it. I just use some uh, short uh, one inch tubing and put it in my uh, vice grip and here it comes. Goes easy using a little bit of my muscle. And this one I just mark it at uh, 6 inches and then uh, bend it both ends so after both en both ends are bent I get the 25 25 and a half from edge to edge of the U shape and here it comes I got my five hoops and I have to apologize in the welding part guys so I don't have time to record it because I only working on it on my break time so I have to be quick don't worry I'll give you the rest of the measurement and it's weekend so I bring it home and I had fun painting it I picked the red and black paint so this time I'm, I'm just outside of my garage doing some painting instead of sitting down on my couch and just watch TV it's more fun Alright, after all the paint job, red and black vertical bike rack is finally colored. Alright, good morning guys. I would like to share you how I build my very own vertical bike rack. Okay, let's start with the materials here. We have 2x2 two two square tubing. This top and the main and the bottom is inch and a half square tubing. So let's start with the main uh, main vertical frame here. The measurements is sitting on top of the two inch sheets so remember on top from top of the two inch oh boy my garage is just closing up hello <laughs> it's close up that's funny ah okay let's get back to business okay measurement from the top of the two inch uh, hitch is Yes, we got 53 and a half guys. So from top of the 2 inch pipe here sitting here to the top here is 53 and a half. The bottom cr crossbar here is made by inch and a half square tubing. So it's 53 inches long. And the top here is 2 inch, two inch square tubing. That's 60 inches so I mean you can make this shorter you can go 55 inches this one I'm I'm gonna have to cut this down this hook I is made of a inch half inch round bar so I cut them at a uh, 40 46 inches long so if I'm gonna make it next time I'm gonna cut it I'm gonna add extra two inches just to make the gap shorter 
so I can make it 48 inches. This short part here, I cut this at 10 inches long, thanks to my buddy, he gave this to me. Uh, 10, 10 inches long, and I mark it at inch and a half, and bend it to 90 degree. From here to here, it'll be five, around 5 inches. 5 inches height from top to the bottom of the plate, to the bottom of the hook is 5 inches. At least at 10, 10 inches long. Mark it at inch and a half and bend it to 90 degree. And then the the angle here, the lean angle is 30 degree angle. Okay, so 30 degree. Lean down 30 degree and the height here is 5 inches. So write that down. So the gap, the gap between between the hoop is 12 inches. That's one feet. So I mark from one feet, another one feet, one feet, and so on. And once you put your degree, 30 degree, all your hook will line up like 12 inches long, or one feet. The same thing here, at the bottom, where your tire sits, I just add a 2x2 uh, two two angular, cut them by 1 inches, and then weld this. So your tire can have a good grip in here it's not gonna be bouncing around so the same thing 12 inches gap spacing 12 inches one feet and as you notice here you don't wanna you don't want the bottom bracket to line up because this is gonna this part is gonna be useless because once you put your bike your line your your tire is gonna be lined up in here not not in here so it's gonna be here so make sure that you just, you just where is this is you line that up that's gonna be perfect where your bottom tire is sitting so line up everything go on, and so on and then from top from top to top is 34 and a quarter from top of the square tubing and the top of the bottom here is 34 and a quarter. I put some small uh, small bolts here where you can uh, put your straps like this one. Small bolt. I'm missing some top strap here because uh, I had it on order and it's on the way. And right here on my hitch, so I. I made a from from 38 plate so I cut this to 90 degree and then just form an uh, some kind of an arc there and then yeah bolt it this one is some kind of a stopper so when I lean when I lean it down I got a stopper there and I put a pin right there. So pretty solid. It's like I'm planning to put some uh, hydraulic uh, damper assist here. So but I'm still looking for it. If you know where I can get that hydraulic damper, let me know in the comment guys. So yeah, I hope I help you in your next project and good luck. I also have to make sure that uh, I can open my trunk easily and for the purpose of easy loading and unloading of your bike also. Yeah. Just enough space there to open your trunk. Okay, so let's try loading our bike. Let's line it up here. With help with your knee.
shop there. Alright, that's all I have for you guys. If you have question, just uh, write it down on the comment section and I'll try to get back to you. And good luck on your build. Alright guys, thank you very much. If you are kind enough, please hit that like button. And if you are very very kind, please subscribe.